Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today we got the second sneak peek. I guess you could call it the sneak peek because it's revealing the character that is behind that red mask that we talked about in yesterday's video for the first sneak peek. And I, I sound excited about it because I am excited about it. There was a bit of a mix up with the tweets that was posted and then deleted, but here we go. And I'm going to start reading here. Our third original character hits Marvel Future Fight with the force of a Spirit Bears Taekwondo kick. Now, this is confirmed to be now an original character like Luna Snow, like Sharon Rogers. Pre-register and unlock rewards based on how many players participate. If enough players sign up, you can even earn the new character named Crescent. So, I got to say, guys, this is really cool. I, I don't know if it's just because I finished recently watching The Legend of Korra, and before that I had binge-watched the entire season of The Last uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender uh, with Aang, but having the idea of a new character, uh, this girl that controls this giant spirit bear that fights with her, is just so cool. I, I'm, I'm honestly super giddy about this. You can tell in my voice, you can tell in my facial expressions. I'm unreasonably excited for this character. I, it's, yeah, I don't really, I don't really know how to explain it. Uh, I can't really tell you why. Uh, I should be complaining about new game modes and uh, reworks to existing characters, but here I am, super stoked that I get to punch Thanos in the face with a giant bear. I don't know what to tell you guys. I just like this shit. It's really cool to me. So what you guys need to do is you need to follow the link below in the description. Uh, and essentially, if you were here for the Luna Snow introduction or pre-registration event, which was about eight months ago in January, then you'll be very familiar. If you're not, listen closely. Uh, we have the post here on Mobrum. We first met Sharon Rogers, then Luna Snow. Now a third character makes her entrance, introducing Crescent. Superhero duo that fights for justice made up of Dan B, who is a young uh, girl from Korea, and her partner Io. I think the bear's name is Io. If it's not Io, please correct me in, down below in the comments. Uh, write it phonetically or somehow send me a voice. You could send me a voice message online if you wanted to, uh, at CynicAlex with one X. And uh, yeah, I'll listen to those in case I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, I don't want to be wrong. I want to get it right. So the pre-registration event, you just go, you scroll down. Uh, it, it starts right now and it, before the update, but they're sneaky and they don't tell us when the update's happening. I don't think they tell us. And you click right here. It lists it here, but I actually want to go to the website because the website's super cool and I want you guys to see it and I want to show you. So here we got Danby. I, I swear, I'm, I'm way too excited about this. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we got Danby over here looking super cool. She's got her fresh Nike Jordans on. Uh, she looks amazing, man. She looks like Asian Carrie Fisher you know, Princess Leia, badass. And she's got the mask on. And then we got Dan, we got Danby's uh, spirit bear over there, Io, just ready to kick your ass. Uh, and the fact that Io is kind of mimicking her stance uh, is actually really important. Anyways, there's going to be a video about her, which I'm really excited about as well. Uh, so you scroll down here and you just type in your email. So I'm going to type in uh, Mr. Uh, at gmail.com. If you've ever, if you've ever wanted to um, email me, this is the email that you use and you hit OK. What? <laughs> what do you mean? This is valid, dude. All right, I'll figure this out later. Whatever. Apparently, my email is not valid. Uh, just so that you guys know, pre-registering will cause you to receive emails from uh, Marvel Future Fight. You'll receive an email after every single update. I've received them several times now for every single update that's happened since I registered for the Luna Snow event eight months ago. So if you don't want to get an email every single month from Marvel Future Fight, when you receive the first one, you can just click unsubscribe from the bottom of the list. It's just an email uh, that they send you for every update. They don't send you any other kind of emails. There's no additional emails. If you ever get an email, just, just to be clear, guys, because we're talking about emails in the game, if you ever get an email uh, asking you to log in or asking you for your, uh, for your personal login information, do not respond to it just delete it. It, it they'll never email you with any kind of question like that or any kind of request like that it's just emails for you to play the game but you should already be playing so it is kind of meaningless uh the registration numbers a lot of people are going to say that these are fake and that they're going to go up to 100 percent anyways to be honest that's good because it means we're going to get all the rewards and the rewards are pretty sweet if we get to level five we get 500 crystals everyone gets 500 crystals 50 boost points 100,000 gold Honestly, they could have easily made this a million gold, but whatever. And then you get 10 bios of Crescent. Now, here's where people are going to start to um, get kind of salty. I can already feel 
the, the saline levels in my body rising. Uh, the 10 bios for uh, Crescent means that you're going to unlock the character at one star. And for those of you that were around for Luna Snow, this is exactly the same way that she was introduced. Meaning there is a good chance, I would say there's about a 60% chance right now, that Crescent is going to be a paywall, a bio selector, a bio subscription character like Luna Snow. However, however, when Luna Snow was introduced, we also got... I think when she was introduced or a little bit afterwards, we got a Luna Snow event battle where you could get additional bios for Luna Snow. So hopefully they will do uh, an event battle for Crescent. If you were just playing recently, we had the event battle for X-23 where you could get her bios in that kind of Marvel Contest of Champions type um, map with all the nodes. So hopefully they'll introduce one for her. Maybe they'll have a new comic card. Maybe they'll have some new rewards. Uh, but she looks like a a pretty cool character to give you a bit of speculation into what I think Danby and Io are going to be my guess is a combat uh, hero female character that deals energy damage so very similar to uh, Iron Fist in the sense that you're dealing energy damage with kind of a spiritual um, effect or a spiritual kind of uh, energy force but you're still a combat type. Now, we were just talking a few days ago about how the combat class is super weak and lame, so it would be amazing to see a new, very strong combat type. There's also the possibility that she could be tier 3-able, which, which would make her you know, an extremely valuable character because she's also available um, and she could compete with Captain America with the female uniform for the female combat Extreme Alliance Battle Day. Now, she's also extremely relevant because we don't have many strong female characters and we don't have many strong combat types. So all of those things would be amazing. And she would also be only the second character, I believe, to be a combat type that deals energy damage. No. Um, the, the third, the third, because we have Iron Fist and Apocalypse. She would be only the third character to be able to do that. So that's also really important. I don't see this character being speed type. I don't see this character being blast type. There's also a small possibility that it's uh, universal, but it's very, very unlikely. I think like Iron Fist, getting kind of spiritual powers infused into a human's body, uh, combat is the most likely um typing for her. Uh, she has a bit of a backstory here and you can understand a bit more about her skills if you read this. The coolest part here is that Io copies her fighting movements. He simultaneously mimics her punches and kicks. So this is kind of like the Sentinel that we have right now where you have three Sentinels um, and they all copy each other's moves except this would be the bear copying her skills. So I'm really excited to see a giant spirit bear punching and kicking and eye framing and stuff like that. Additionally, if you go over to the story of Danby and Io, you can read about her backstory. Uh, I think she does have a bit more of a solid kind of upbringing and a solid lore compared to Luna Snow. Uh, it's a bit more kind of regular. It reminds me kind of of Big Hero 6 in a way. Um, and the more important part here that you want to focus on is the ancient sorceress Morgan Le Fay is referenced multiple times as being kind of the first introduction to evil and villainy that Danby faces. I don't want to spoil this for you, so I'll let you read this on your own, but it is pretty cool because while Morgan Le Fay is not really heavily featured in any uh, other games or movies or the MCU or even, you know, comics, uh, she is a pretty powerful force. I believe she's half uh, elvish and, uh, and half human or half fairy and half human. Uh, so it, it does open the door to a more kind of... Um, interesting magical side of Marvel characters and, and Marvel uh, lore that we don't have a lot of in Marvel Future Fight. So it will be interesting. I don't think we were going to get a character like this to join Crescent, but I do expect some other characters to possibly make their way into the game um, attached to Danby and Io. Now, unlike Luna Snow, uh, although a lot of comparisons are being made to her, this update is supposed to be a full update because it's coming one month after the last full update, which was the X-Men update with Gambit, as you can see over there. So uh, we do expect, I am expecting to see uh, a full, you know, updates worth of content, whether that means new uniforms, other new characters to come along with her, possibly reworks to existing characters and or new game modes and adjustments to existing game modes. So we have to wait and see what we're going to get. The only thing I can really speculate on or guess on uh, for now is, of course, the character and most likely the event battle. 
Um, but we're going to have to wait and see for anything else. But I do expect to see a lot more because we're getting sneak peeks and we still have, you know, almost two weeks before the update, which leaves a lot of additional content to be covered. And we're definitely not just going to get these two sneak peeks and nothing else between now and, you know, November 27th, which is when I expect the update to actually be live. But I'm really excited about Danby. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Hit me up on Twitch because I'm going to be talking about this and I'm going to be pretty much extremely excited from uh, beginning to end. And that's just kind of how it is. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and you want to support me. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.